Okay, we are back. And we are getting close to the end of this playthrough. Like, we only have about five more items to automate, I believe. It's the four project assembly parts, or phase four, and the pressure conversion cubes that we need for the nuclear pasta. So, we're going to get right on that. I still need to get rid of this pipeline because I find it annoying. Again, it was cool the first time around, flying through the inside of that pipe. Now it's just annoying. So I want to deal with that. But first, I want to get some stuff automated. I'd say it's time to make the fifth floor. I believe it's the fifth floor. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's fifth. Oh, we need to zoop this again. And I'm going to need some iron plates. Get up to here and might as well just put a wall here. That way we at least get some power in this area. Actually, can we just connect it like right here? So this way we at least have some power in this area. And then we'll finish this off. There, now we have power at least up here. I do need to get more iron plates, so let's go back down here. And get a little bit of concrete. Alright, so let's continue this. This should be the last floor of the factory. If I'm doing everything correctly. So, on this end over here, we're just going to have our uh, pressure conversion cubes. And then we'll start with the assembly director units. Now, if I remember correctly from the last play session, I already have enough of those adapter control units or adapter control systems. Or is it adapter control units? Well, those things that require a whole bunch of automated wiring, uh, those should be complete by now. Like, I really stocked up on the automated wiring earlier on and then just got those things, those adapter control units, like automated earlier on and just let it go this entire time. But at this point, we should have enough for uh, completing project assembly. And I have to wonder why is this so uneven? Come on, I've been zooping you all the way to times 10. Unless I haven't. I haven't actually been paying attention to the number, but whatever. Let's just make sure everything is filled in. And then that'll be it. Fill in like this.
Make sure this is nice and even. Wait a minute. Wait a dumb minute. Okay, never mind. I thought it was overhanging on the factory here. So once I have all five of these parts uh, automated, I'm going to start expanding the production of existing stuff. Just like looking around, checking for bottlenecks. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to start dressing up this factory. Like basically finishing the look and feel of it. And what I'm going to do is just use asphalt in the center here. I have a nice pretty area here for our particle accelerators. Yeah, because why not? Like, we got lots of concrete anyway, so why not? Just make sure everything is being zooped correctly. Should have enough to cover the entire thing. Just enough, I think. Or maybe not enough, never mind. We're short. Basically, what I want in this area is the particle accelerators. Do I have enough right now to put them down? No, I'm gonna need the... These things and these things. Okay, so we'll finish off these foundations later. Let me put down the particle accelerators first. Control magnetic control units. Yeah, we pretty much have everything we need. Then the turbo motors. We have plenty of heat sinks. What are these supposed to be? Oh, supercomputers. We need... About that much. And this is fully overclocked. Oh, we're actually short on computers. I need to do something about that. Oh yeah, the I just remembered. The plastic is being bottlenecked. So... We need to address that. Now the fuse modular frames. But oh, we need about 300 cooling systems. Got that. Fuse modular frames. Yeah, we'll do one stack of that. And radio control units down below. Now, the good thing about what I did with the uh, rubber and plastic is that I had all of those containers over there just storing up all the plastic and rubber for later. So the bottleneck that we're experiencing now is just fairly recent. So this entire time it was just continuing to produce, so that's good. That's the idea behind all of these buffers and all of his storage. Speaking of storage, probably should put another one for the copper powder down there, shouldn't I? Let's see what's in here at this point. You really don't have that much. Hmm. You know what, just for good measure. Like, let's store up some more of this because we are going to need lots of it. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, the line's correct. I just needed to make sure the line was for the storage here and not for this thing. But anyway, all of this stuff will be transferred into here. And then we're just going to continue stockpiling all of this copper. I could probably produce more if I have some kind of copper powder manufacturing somewhere over there. Because I do have a lot of ingots at this point. But we'll see. I want my particle accelerators. Hmm. We do a three by three? No. It's not enough room. I want to put this right at the corner here of this first high stingray. I want to put it at the corner of this first asphalt foundation, like so. And then, can we squeeze like one more in here? Why, yes, we can. Plenty of space. Now, I should only need six of these. That's why I put those down. All of this is just nuclear pasta. Hook it up to power right now. Now I'm gonna do the nuclear pasta last since these particle accelerators use a lot of power. Even though I have a lot. Okay, I'd like to make a withdrawal from the asphalt bank. Alright, let's connect this up. What? Well, it's all the way over here. Yes, I do want to reposition these. Fuck me. Show me that white border. Oh my god. Well, there goes 30 seconds. It's like the wire connects to the... Maybe we shouldn't put it back here. It connects over here. Yeah, there we go. Wait a minute. Oh my god, seriously? This just looks so bad.
Or wait a minute. You're the one who's backwards. Or you know what? Yeah, keep it like that. Oh my god. Let's just keep it like that. There we go. So we have three on this side, three on this side. Now. That is it. Is it everything looks good now? No more complaints. Okay. Okay. So let's put this over here. And we can connect it like that. Now we have these connected to the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Connect it back. I just want to see this. So, this consumption... Or, max consumption. So, it's not the actual consumption itself. It's max consumption. That threw me off. Okay, so anyway. Particle accelerator is down. Let's go restock. We're going to need 18 of these. Reinforced iron plates. We need a lot of reinforced iron plates. So we're going to use nine for the pressure conversion cubes and then another nine for the assembly director systems. You thought I was going to take damage, didn't you? I gotcha. Alright, let's get back up here. Get back up there. Oh, probably should build the ramp going upwards. Cut this off. Okay, let's put in some walls. There we go. Nice ramp. We have access to every floor now. What I'm going to do... Where... Oh, wait, blueprints. We're going to put down three... Assemblers. And... I need... I need this, uh... Concrete. What else do I need? Uh, I think we could probably use a couple extra iron rods. Do we have any spares in here? Nope. All right. Oh, oh, come on, really? Hey, there's a crate here. Like, I have a whole bunch of crates with, like, spare resources lying all around here. Can't I just, like, delete them or something? Get rid of it from the map. Like, I do have it hidden, but I just want it deleted. So it's not, like, polluting the map with... Like, like you know, pollution. Uh, assemblers. Okay, I think we'll start it off, like, right here. Oh, autosave. That's why it's freezing. Blueprint, we need to line this up. Six. 
And... Ah! Oh! You asshole. It's like it moves, like, at the last moment. Now I need to, like, delete this. Like, there's supposed to be an undo feature for blueprints, where it's, like, uh, coming up in update 8, or it's either the undo thing, or it's the, um, what's it called? Delete blueprint? It's one or two, maybe both, but it would be super useful in a situation like this. There we go. Anyway, let's connect these up. Okay, so we're not producing encased industrial beams. We're going to be doing the pressure conversion cube. So we need fused modular frames and radio control systems. Use modular frames, radio control systems. So, probably should put it on the other side here since there's already a lot of space over there. Probably should zoop it. Let's just hook up these splitters right now. Now if I hold control, it snaps. And this does not snap. Like, I just... I still don't get it. Like, sometimes it snaps, sometimes it doesn't. Like, this snaps. It snaps, so... Really don't understand what's going on here. Like, I haven't understood it... In, like, several play sessions. Okay, so... That's all connected. Let's go ahead and bring up the fuse modular frames and radio control units. What I want is... Let's put the wall, like, right here. Or... Wait a minute. this over here, do this, and do this. Okay, so we just need to put the fuse modular frames and the radio control units over here. And what's this? That's our fuse modular frames. 
so our bottleneck is currently aluminum casings, apparently. Let me just check this real quick. Yeah, I probably have to increase the production of this, like, even more. Because we're just not getting enough. Like, nothing's really happening with the aluminum sheets. So that's still good. It It's the aluminum casings that are, like, we're having a problem with. So, okay. Where do we take it? Hmm. Need to somehow bring that, like, over here. Do this. Why am I even doing it like this? Like, what the hell is wrong with me? Uh... I don't know. Let's just do some wonky shit. There we go. Fuse modular frames. Go. And then we'll just... Uh, bring this over here. Then... Radio control units are, like, somewhere down over here. Still oscillators. Yeah, the radio control units are over here, and we got plenty of them. Maybe it'll be easier if we bring... Uh, split from over here, maybe? I mean, let's see where this goes. So what if we split it from over here and... Come on, get up there. <laughs> 